Express. Some Austin homes get a facelift. And the Longhorns win a thriller in the final seconds. From KTBC in Austin, news you can count on. This is Fox 7 News Saturday. Some East Austin neighbors worry they'll be lost in the shuffle of progress. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Our top story this afternoon, it is time to speak up and fight back. That's the word from some people living in East Austin. Started off pretty chilly in Austin this morning, but it warmed up fast this afternoon. Great day. Now we want to know what's going to be ahead for the rest of the weekend. So here's Chris Shumway with the first look at the weather. Hi, Chris. Hey, Elisa and Bill. Looks like a terrific weekend weather-wise. Great day today. Very dry and clear out, and I think a pretty good one for you tomorrow before a couple of other changes come our way. Meantime, we've got 81 and clear skies in Austin right now. Just a beautiful look. Burns last second victory. I'm so excited from the game. I know, aren't we all, though? First, though, <laughs> uh, entertainment reporter Kevin Finney will be here to look uh, with a look at the 20th anniversary of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, it never did, but it, it has spawned so many ancillary products. Right now, they're about to release uh, a karaoke version without the vocals, so you can like Why have the whole show in your living room. Just imagine. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Kevin. Kevin. You bet. Well, the weekend is off to a beautiful start, a great breezy day. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. It felt great, but how long will the great fall weather last, though? Meteorologist Chris Shumway has your forecast next on Fox 7 News at 5. professionals tied in with the worldwide resources of CNN, the Associated Press, and Fox News, giving you more local news than any television station in Austin. One person that appeared to be trapped. Investigating the issues and bringing you the answers. Fox 7 News, news you can count on. Forget about approval of the National Weather Association. I wish we could take this day and bottle it up mm -hmm. and just keep it. For Come from behind in a thrilling victory over Virginia. We, we can hear it in your voice. <laughs> <I'm so excited. laughs> the victory comes in the last three seconds of the game. Jim Knox is along next with the game winner and the celebration. The kick is on the way. And the kick from Dawson is good. Good. Because Oof. this was something to see. What an ending. Oh, an amazing <laughs> ending. I'll it. tell you, it doesn't get more exciting than this. You can count on with Jim Knox. Longhorns pull off a win today, and they do it by this much. Yeah, how about that game, huh? Right. Best part was the last play, and you can't see it enough. Here it is. <laughs> last play of the game, Texas down by two to Virginia. It is good. Philip Dawson boots a 50-yarder into the win. The Horns win a thriller, 17 to 16. All right, with more on the kick and the comeback, let's check in live with Rick Carr over at Memorial Stadium. Rick. All right, Jim, like the drive in Denver and the eight minutes of this game really got started with 12 minutes to go. Texas trailing 13 to 7. They go on a seven-play, 80-yard, 16-play march. They picked up a fourth and 10 here as James Brown hits Mike Adams over the middle to the four. Three plays later, Ricky Williams goes over the top for the score. Texas led it 14-13 with five minutes left. But the Cavs quickly drive to the Texas 38 where the Longhorn defense holds. But Rafael Garcia drills this 55-yard field goal with the wind at his back. Virginia back on top, 16-14. Now some questionable clock management had the Horns facing fourth and 10 at their own 44. Only 21 ticks left. But again, it's Brown to Adams on the fourth down conversion, gets 11 yards. Two plays later, James on the sprint out. With clock running down, he gets out of bounds at the 33, sets up Phil Dawson. He'd missed earlier from 52 and 57. Here's Bill Schoening with the call. And the Longhorns win a thriller, 17-16 over the Cavaliers. Maybe the biggest victory of John Makovic's four-year tenure at the 40 Acres. Played so hard and to prove it against a real quality football team that we can hang in there and play tough in a tight game the way it was and never bend. I think that gives us a great deal of confidence. It's a big victory nationally. But the fact that we won and it was coming after me missing two field goals that were real ugly and... Uh... I was going from wanting to leave the back door of the locker room and go to the house without even seeing my parents, and now walking out the front door and telling everybody hello. So uh, this is a big one. I knew we were going to win the game. You're just wondering how. Um, some We run plays, and they work for a while, and we try to come back to it, and it wouldn't work. You know, we got a lot of penalties that hurt us. Um, but we overcame a lot of things, and we ended up winning. 
Yeah, those places for now, a couple of spots up in the AP poll. This is the long.